Hello, and welcome back to Bokida in the spring. It just faded away. Apparently, that's what this area is called. Is it the last one? Let's find out. But it's a kaleidoscope kind of thing. Oh, right. I have clean on. Yeah, it just places. Why am I? Oh, man, I feel so short that I can't. I'm not taller than a single block. I guess that's always been the case. But yeah, this this effect is interesting. Huh. I feel like I can do some stuff with this. I actually looked into some achievements just because I was a bit worried about like cutting through a thousand blocks and cleaning 20,000 blocks in one playthrough and stuff like that, that's a lot of blocks, especially since some of them say debris or fragments. Like, I thought you had to clear 3,000 or something, was it three? Uh, blocks in a single clean, and that just sounds insane, but apparently it's debris or fragments, so you can just, like, create a bunch of blocks and then use the, the shatter. How did you use the shatter power again? Was that... Those cut, and then you like... Wait, how did you do that? It's not middle click. Oh, wow, even the push is mirrored. Right click? Ah, that's it. And yeah, that just cuts them in half every time. So let's say, I mean, I guess you could theoretically just mathematically calculate how many times you need to do it. You place down like 50 blocks and then Cut them into 100 blocks and then 200 blocks, if, if it even works like that. I mean, maybe it has a limit or something. But, yeah, you should be able to do that pretty easily. And apparently the, uh, like, cut through a thousand blocks in one single cut is also just debris and fragments. It's just anything counts. Like, at this point, these two count as two separate blocks, even though they were part of the same block. So, I get, like, cleaning one block for just doing that, or, well, two blocks, I mean, for uh, cleaning them up. So, that's interesting to note. We'll see how much I need to do. And we can't go here. But yeah, this, this might be a good place to do it. I might do it here, because this is a pretty good, like, playground. And if everything is mirrored, Assuming it still counts as blocks, that's the question, like, does, uh, if I clean... If only I had the steam overlay, I could test this easily, like, clean this right here, and then do I get plus four to the steam overlay saying, like, clean this many blocks in one playthrough? Because, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate not having the steam overlay. I might be forced to try and get this game to run with OBS if I, uh... Oh, oh, that's where I came from. Ah, this is where the orb was. Yeah. Really? I can't fit there? I feel like I should be able to fit here. So that's, that's where we peeked up from uh, the Echo. What was I even saying? I don't even know. This is pretty scatterbrained start. And there's just nothing here. So, fine. Let's go up and actually paint in this thing. Wait, hold on. One last thing. What is under here? Just a little hole. Nothing big. And yeah, that's four blocks right there. Yeah, I was saying something about the steam overlay, just uh, seeing like, oh, it, I've cleaned 2,467 blocks, and then I place down one more, and then is it is it plus four or not? No idea. There? Oh, that's it. No? Yeah, that like bleeds out and opens the doors. Oh, I'm almost blocking it.
Okay. Oh, there's there are my blocks that I came up with. That's interesting that they're still here. Oh, no. Okay. I thought it was going to, like, put something there and that was going to be weird. Well, it, it kind of is weird. Oh, I already have those put in. I thought I cleaned those out. I guess I didn't. Well, oh, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, holy crap. I'm not like catching everything that's happening. There's a lot going on at, at once. And the world is like breaking apart. We're getting sucked into the dark planet. I can't jump. I can play stuff though. Oh, I am actually supposed to play stuff. Clean. What? Push. Cut. Oh, I'm like unmaking? Yeah, I'm losing my powers. I see. I really shouldn't have built this. Now I'm like ruining this, uh, this final sequence. It's it. Be gone! Wow! Fucking rude! I did all this for you! And you just off me! Oh god. Don't look, kids. It's too lewd. And they form a yin yang. No? Yes? Oh my god, they do. Yep. Fucking knew it. Yep. Sure. Okida! Heartfelt reunion. And that's it. Well, that was pretty quick into this episode. Thought there would be more to that last area? Pretty sure there's quite a lot left to do, though. Onyas, I was saying, I might have to try and make this run on OBS or record with OBS so I can have the overlay active while I play, because I think that should work in OBS. Because some of these achievements might be a little hard to, to, to get if I don't see if I get them or not. Like, I won't know when I push a thousand blocks in one go or whatever. If the game doesn't pop up and tell me. So yeah, that might be something I have to look into. 
But before that, there's quite a lot left to do. I mean, there's finding all the echoes, of course, and going to that yin yang door, if that even exists in the save file anymore, if I have to replay it or load an old backup. And then steals, lots and lots and lots of steals. Apparently, there's like, I don't even know, it was like more than double of what I've read is left to read. So there's that. There was also another power somewhere that I haven't gotten. Yeah, yeah. A couple of other things. Messenger, awaken. Do, do it again. Oh. Uh, oh, God! What? Is that bugged? Oh, no. Wait, can I, like, clean that or something? Or is that just gone? Oh, my God. So, I think there's a problem... Oh, no. Clear blocks. Clear debris. Oh, boy. But now I have to do it again. I think it's because I already had the blocks placed in the yin-yang door? Yeah, clean, whatever. Okay, I guess you have to wait. Then I got put back into the epilogue again, like, before the final thing. But then everything was still there. All of my blocks, so it just instantly triggered the end sequence again. Be gone. Can't do anything. Oh, I can like... Wait. I entered slow-mo, but I can't exit it? That might be a problem. No, there we go. Slow-mo again! Nope. I can't. Alright, can you skip the movie? Yes, you can. Does it happen again? Awaken again! Clear blocks. Clear debris. What now? Okay. Nothing so far, but then... Okay. Now it- now it's fine. Yeah, that was definitely just a weird bug. So, resonating gateway. 40 echoes. So I- I can open this then. But I can also go down here, which takes me where, exactly? Is this? Yeah, that's- that's the island right there. Okay, so that's why I got sucked over there, because, uh, I'd already placed the blocks, same as before. I wasn't supposed to get sucked up to the door, but well, let's open this one then. Yeah, so here's something new. Aha! Maybe this is where you get the last power. The Nameless, again. This area comes up quite a lot. There's a steel? Maybe something up there? There are those who cannot free themselves because they are bound by material existence. If we are content with whatever happens and follow the flow, true to one's purpose, carefree we go, carefree we come. Thus free from bondage, we transcend to reach unexpected destinations. 
Yep, I mean, it's just saying the same thing again. I wasn't really talking about this, like, during the credits. Normally, I would talk about my opinions of the game and stuff, but I mean, I still don't feel like I've gotten everything out of this game, so I can't really give a complete overview, but so far, I like it, but A, the story or, like, the writing does absolutely nothing for me. I'm sorry, but it just does nothing. I do not care. I do not understand it. I mean, I, I do understand what they're saying, but just, like, it doesn't hold any meaning or any weight to me. It feels kind of like a non-story, like it's trying to be really poetic and stuff. But maybe that's just not kind of my thing, I suppose. Yeah, I don't really care for all of these steals and the story and... I don't know, it's just meaningless, the light and dark coming together and stuff. Like, what does that even mean, really? Who am I? What am I doing here? Why am I doing this? Why did she fucking off me when I was done? Like, I don't know. There's there's a lot of questions, and it's obviously not clear intentionally. It's It's just vague and poetic and stuff. I don't know. Not really my thing. Then also, the visuals... I do get what they're going for. I get the, like, aesthetic with the whole pale white and black and then odd splashes of color so dramatic. But I do think it could use more color, just in general. Like, say, every time you uh, fulfill one of the, complete one of the monoliths, I feel like the second time I did that and you got the, like, big red forest with lily pads and stuff, that was really good. If that happened more, I would like it more, where the overworld kind of drastically changed, like the temple was all pale and white, and then you complete that, and it would just, you know, be like simple stuff, like grey texture, sort of rocky, maybe have some like colorful banners here and there, just flat textures, nothing too much, because yeah, apparently this game can't really handle it, it does like, there's something wrong with how they did the performance. Like, say, at the uh, the last cutscene there, where she's like, be gone, and then everything shatters out in red petals. The frame rate just, like, plummets when that happens. So there's clearly something just about the way they render particles and blocks and debris and just everything that's, like, very not optimized, even though it's simple, flat 2D textures and stuff. So, that could really be done better, in my opinion. But beyond all of that, yeah, the game is very simple in terms of, like, puzzles and stuff. It's kind of just a walking simulator more than anything. But I don't hate that. It's it's pleasant enough. I like the atmosphere. I like the, the soundtrack and, yeah, just the feel of moving around. The movement system is, is very good. I wasn't expecting it to have such a fleshed out an interesting movement system so that's that's cool beyond that that's pretty much all i have to say it was it was a nice time and it hopefully will continue to be a nice time as we continue but it hasn't really been a very gripping experience to me it's it's just kind of a, a fun little small thing so those are my opinions i guess also yeah the the powers what the fuck is wrong with them? What's up with like, oh, I can make it slow motion. Great. Oh, I can reverse gravity. Okay, cool. Uh, so now I cut these and they float up. It's so awesome. But why though? I can't like... Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. I didn't even know you could boost to fragments. So you can just, like, reverse gravity and then boost to a fragment over and over and over as you just fall into the sky. Again, useless, but that's kind of cool, I suppose. Here's another steel. But yeah, it, it's just weird to me. It doesn't really make any sense. There's no puzzles that require any of this stuff, so what's even the point of getting them in the first place? We exhausted the dark... Wait... Haven't I read this? The dark mineral and gradually reached our end. Still, I watch the planets dance, following their natural order. The wood is consumed, but the fire burns, burns on. 
and we do not know when it will all come to an end. That's not familiar. Two alternative. To, to alternate with one another like day and night. No one knows where one ends and the other begins. Alright, let's go back down here because I feel like I missed something, right? Yeah, here's something. Hmm. There's probably a lot of stuff to find here, but let's just move on this way. And yeah, like, in this case, just some contrast would be nice. Like, these lines are so thin. It just kind of sometimes feels like I'm just staring at a white screen. There's like nothing distinguishing anything here. So it's it's sometimes kind of hard to make out what I'm even looking at. Would be nice if it was more... Yeah, just more contrast, more dark areas, more color areas. But within reason, without changing the complete color palette or just aesthetic of the game, like making it a different game. If there is no other, there is no I. If there is no I, there is no one to perceive. How philosophical. There must be some primal force, but we cannot dis discover any proof. This primal force is attainable, but invisible. It is its own source and its own root. It existed before heaven and earth, and for all eternity. I see it in the dance of the two. Cool! Good for you, man! And then we get out here again, so I guess that was good that I went that way. I think I see a steel up here. I guess this is where most of the the words are that I haven't read. At the still point in the center of the circle, one can see the infinite in all things. What does that even mean? It is the truth that I now observe. Right is infinite, wrong is infinite. Cool story. Therefore I say, behold the light beyond right and wrong. Oh my god. The wisdom is immeasurable. And if I go all the way up here... There is stuff here, but I feel like maybe I'm skipping ahead. Like maybe you're supposed to climb up this way from somewhere else. So let's just drop down for now and keep going. Maybe? Maybe you're not? Maybe you're just supposed to go there? Again, hard to tell what I'm even really looking at. Half the time? And I read these, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here's a path up. Oh, this kind of looks like the place where you kept, like, falling infinitely. Whoa! What? The fuck was that? The light isn't changing, is it? Yeah, I could go there. There's a lot of places to go! This is pretty open and confusing and empty. Like, there's not really anything here. It's just... Travel around and find steals. I suppose, but maybe there's something hidden. I don't know, but I'm gonna leave it off there. Not the most fulfilling finales I've ever had of a series. Obviously, this will keep going. Finding all the orbs, finding all the seals, trying out different things. But that's that in a way. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.